Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have something really exciting to share with you guys today. A fully custom 3D printed RC boat. Everything was made in Blender, from the motor mount to the boat itself. In fact, here they are. There's actually been tons of different prototypes as you can see right here. So this was the first one, and what didn't really work is first of all, it didn't print. Second of all, the lid is really tight, and yeah, it's a pain to get off. And then the motor mount itself didn't actually fit the original motor. The original motor wasn't actually what I ended up using, as I didn't have an ESC, and, and the ESC I found online was waterproof and came with a different motor. The next boats were just sizing issues, trying to get the size right. The first one that I actually had confidence in and thought might work is this orange one right here. As you can see, it definitely looks more polished. The lid opens more smoothly and it has these other parts in it. The motor mount originally was this piece right here and it just held the motor in place and lined it up so that the propellers would actually come out the back. The thing I was worried about it with though, was actually it sinking. I didn't know if it would actually float or not, so I went to the bathtub. That works. And yep, it definitely passed that test. So the next test was to actually see if all the electronics and everything worked and see if it would actually drive like an RC boat should. And I was hoping it would be pretty fast. So down to the river. Hello, okay, first test, this is exciting. The boat is pretty much there, all I need to do. Okay. What's going on? What's going on with the motor? Also, is it going to leak? Is it a vibration tissue? <laughs> okay, so this orange boat. It did drive, it did turn, it did everything right, except it was slow. Which is kind of unfortunate. It seems to be like the propeller was sucking in air, so it wasn't going very fast. So, that's where the white boat comes in. Okay, so with this white boat, I ended up angling the propeller downward a little bit so that it would hopefully counteract the air that's going into it from what I assume is it not being far enough underwater. Unfortunately, it didn't entirely work. So I figured maybe it was something else. Maybe it was the propeller. So I actually tried a whole bunch of different propellers, even a really big red one. but none of those really seem to do anything except this one propeller. This uh, little 3D printed propeller surprisingly actually made it go a little bit faster. It's still pretty slow, but it was at least better. <laughs> or the motor. I'm That motor, I'm not ruling out that possibility. But either way, it was at least good enough to get some cool shots. Bling.
Okay, so this boat project as a whole was overall a pretty good project. Though I definitely want to come back to it and get an actually faster RC boat that is more fun to drive, as it's too slow to really be a ton of fun, though it, it was a good learning project. Oh, <laughs> I broke that thing. What I might do is order a cheap RC boat on Amazon and then reverse engineer it to see if I can get a 3D printed one to work that way. Otherwise, I'll have to figure out the issues, which I'm still a little bit confused on what happened there. If you have any ideas, be sure to let me know. I definitely appreciate it. Aside from that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating this, and I'll see you later. Adios. Okay, actually, just one more thing. I just thought it was kind of cool that this project actually got me to use my 12-year-old camera. It's literally 12 years old, and yet it's able to do the waterproof shots. Sure, the quality kind of showed, but I thought it was kind of cool. Also, physics project. You'll get what I mean in just a sec. I ended up getting 14 or around 14 newtons, which when converted to uh, kilograms was 1.4 or 1.5, pretty close to that. And that is about how much it could hold. So let's go and test the head actually out. I'm going to be testing it with a 1.4 kilogram weight, despite the fact that it is a, could hold a little bit more. The reason for that is because I don't really want to sink the boat, I just want to see how close it is. And I want to press it down and have it come back up. So, let's go. Yes, so see, point playing is, it's very close to tipping, and it is getting a little water in there, but yeah, if I push it under, it still comes up, just very slowly, until the water gets in there too much, and then it will sink. 